Hey guys, what's up? Shin0525 here, back with another drawing video. Uh, today's drawing video, we're going to be drawing Zor from the Deadly Six. He's like the depressed emo one. Um, so yeah, and this video was requested by uh, the Nigel World. Thank you so much for the request. Um, I really do appreciate it. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video too. That really helps me out. Gotta say that in the beginning, so it'll get people to do it. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, yeah, we're just going to be drawing Zor today. He's not too hard. Um, again, the, the Deadly Six aren't that bad in terms of, like, drawing them. Um, pretty basic shapes. But, um, yeah, so without further ado, get your pencils ready, and um, let's jump in. All right, so to start out drawing Zor here, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a nice, decent-sized oval. This is going to be his head, but it'd be something like this. And then I like to break his body down to kind of two shapes. There's going to be like this circle, like right underneath the oval here. And then it's going to just go down to like this kind of like rectangle type shape like that. And then we can draw kind of like two circles for where like his hip joints are going to be. And then he's going to have a leg that kind of bends down and over like this. And then he's going to have a foot. And then this leg is going to also bend down and over. And then this foot's going to be more of an oval instead of a circle. And then we could draw two uh, circles here for his shoulders. And then this arm's going to go out and then over like this. And then we're going to have a nice big circle for his hand. And then this line just kind of goes down. And we'll just get a big circle for his arm here. And that's pretty much it for the gesture that we need. So now we could just jump into detail here. So I'm going to zoom in. And if you want to, you can draw the crosshairs. It'd be something like this. They're not really that important for this piece. Um, but what we're going to do is draw um, basically a nice decent sized circle here for his eye. We're only going to see one of his eyes. So just a nice big circle. And basically what you're going to do is start about here and just draw a curve line so that so it has like a little bit of like a C shape to it. And then it's just going to go straight across the circle and kind of curve up a little bit. So I have a nice little curve to it like that. And then here we're just going to kind of draw in like this big U shape on the bottom here. And then we're going to draw a very small circle in the center like that. And now that we got that down, we can... Um, kind of draw a line that just hugs this line on the outside like this and I'll connect to this point and here you could shade this in all black because again he's kind of email I guess he's wearing eyeliner because that's that's how you know you're depressed is when you're wearing like a bunch of eyeliner like that and now that we've got that down, we can kind of draw in this kind of oval for his mouth. It'll be about right here. And then what we're going to do is draw kind of like this upside down V. So it's going to go up and then down. And it'll kind of curve up on the ends here like that. And now here it's just going to go up. Kind of follow this V shape that we have here like that. And now what we're going to do is draw a nice curve line on the bottom here. That connects it in like that. So he kind of has like a little duck beak almost. But now that we've got that down, we can draw in like kind of the head shape. So basically on the bottom of the lips here, we're going to just draw a nice curve line that curves up like this. And this line is just going to kind of follow the oval that we have. Like that. So it's pretty much like his head shape. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw in his hair. So um, his hair is actually pretty simple. It's on um, this kind of like big like water droplet type shape. So basically it's going to be like this big circle. And all you do is just kind of just draw this kind of upside down like teardrop or like water droplet type shape like this. So you can kind of see it's like a, like a water drop. And then we're going to do kind of the same thing on this side, but it's a little bit longer and it kind of follows the oval that we have. So it's going to dip down here, kind of go around the eye, and then it's just going to go straight down like this. 
And now we're gonna get a nice big curve line that just kind of follows the oval that we have here. Kind of make it pop out a little bit more. Like that. And you kind of erase any of the overlap here. Something like that. So we pretty much have his head. Uh, the last details that we need to draw in are his horns. So uh, he has like horns that curve downwards because again he's depressed. So you gotta reinforce that. So the horns, they, this one will start about here. And I'll just curve up and then down like this. So you get a nice big kind of arc type shape. And then here you'll just get a curve line that kind of just follows this line that we have here. And now you're just gonna get um, just these curve lines that like wrap around the horn here, uh, like that. And now we're gonna do the same thing just on this side and um, kind of similar, we're gonna get that big arc shape. So just a nice big curve line like this. But here it's gonna kind of wrap around and have kind of like a rounded bottom here. And then it's just gonna go up and then curve into this point here like that. And you kind of erase any overlap. And now what you could do is just draw those curve lines that kind of wrap around um, the horn here. That's pretty much it for his head. <clears throat> so now we've got his head down. We can kind of draw in his body. Um, so with his body, I actually like starting off with like his chest here because um, with this circle that we have, like right underneath him, we have a pretty good line that we could draw in. So we're going to start right up below his mouth here and just draw a nice curve line that curves in like this. So you get kind of like a hook. And then here we're going to get a curve line that curves down and over like this. And then here we can kind of gesture in his arm. So his shoulder is going to be about here. So we're going to just kind of draw this curve line that kind of wraps around the shoulder, goes down and then over. And we'll save his hands for last because they're probably the hardest part. So we got that line. We'll stop about here for where his wrist is. And then here we'll start about here and just draw another line kind of hugging this line like that. And now that we got that down, we can kind of draw, start about here and draw the rest of his body in. I'm going to kind of curve it inwards a little bit and then a little bit out when it gets to the hips. So now that we got that down, we could draw in his legs. So his legs actually aren't that bad. Um, basically his waist is going to be about here. And then we'll have like this, um, like his pelvic area right here. And basically what I like to do is I'll just start off with this leg. So it will be about here. So we're going to just start with a curve line that curves in like this. And then when you get to the knee about here, we're going to curve it down and in like that. And then right here we'll have another little curve line like that. And now we'll finish off this leg by starting with this line over here and then curving it in. And then it's going to dip out slightly and then curve back in right about there. Like that. And then for his foot, it's, this one's actually real simple. It's basically just this kind of like goes down, kind of curves around, flattens out on the bottom and then curves back up. So you get a shape that looks something like that. And then here you're going to get um, kind of like these cones. So it's this kind of like curve line like this. So it's like this upside down U. And then it just goes into it like a spike here. Like that. So there's there is uh, toes. And now we could get this leg, which is very similar to this one. Uh, we're going to start on the outside here. So it's going to curve down, out, and then in like this. And then here we'll start about here, draw a line curving out. It'll dip out and then in like that. And then here you could actually extend this line and curve it in a little bit like that. And then here this foot shape, it's going to go out, kind of go down, over, kind of bump out and then into the ankle here. So you get a foot shape that looks like something like that. But here, what we're going to do is get that um, spike here. So we get the spike 
and then just curve it in like that. Then we'll get another one right here for his other toe, like that. Kind of curve it up and in, darken the line a little bit. And then here you just get a little spike at the edge, like that. So there's his feet. Now we could draw, he has kind of like um, two colorations here. So this is like, um, like a gray blue. Um, and then his legs are just black. But what you're going to do here is draw kind of like an upside down V. And then just curve it in like that. So that these would all, his legs would all be black. And now we could draw on his tail, which is tail is super simple. It's this really long kind of curvy line like this. He kind of has like a rat tail. So it's just really long and thin. And then just draw another line kind of hugging it. And as you get closer to the tip, it gets thinner. Like that. Kind of erase a little bit of it. So you get something like that. And now we could draw in this arm. So his arm's going to start like kind of right where his mouth is. And then it's going to curve out for where his shoulder is. And then just dip down. Like that. And you just get another line that kind of hugs it like that. Get a little line here for his uh, wrist. <clears throat> and now we could draw in his hands, which is honestly the, probably the hardest part about drawing them. So um, what we're going to do is this is where his like wrist is going to start. So his thumb, so his hand would be somewhere about here. And what we're going to just draw for this one is a nice big oval. And keep it light. This is just kind of gesturing in. And basically what we're going to do here is just draw kind of like um, follow this oval. And it's going to go into like a spike here. And then curve up and then in like that. Kind of erase any of the overlap. And then for here, what we're going to do is start about here at the edge of the wrist. Kind of draw a line going down. Then it's going to dip out slightly. And then go over and in. So you get something like that. And then this line at the edge of the thumb will just kind of go up. And now um, his glove here, um, it's kind of like spiky and like almost ripped at the end. So basically what you do is just kind of draw in like spikes. Kind of going out like that. No big deal. And then for his fingers here, um, they're pretty simple. Basically what you do is just draw a line going down and then slightly over. And it goes into a point and then it goes up and then in. So that's one finger. Now this finger will just kind of hug this one. And same thing, kind of get like a spike. goes up and then over. And you get one more. And then we don't see the pinky because it's covered up. And just for the last details, he's wearing like a fingerless gloves. This is why there's like a curve line right here. So basically to draw this one in, you just draw a little curve line here for the thumb. Just show like a thumb popping out of the glove. Like that. Nice and simple. And now what we could do is jump over here and draw this hand. Uh, this hand's I think a little bit easier just because it's a closed fist. So basically we got our wrist here. Um, we're going to get our oval for the thumb right about there. And basically what we're going to do is just get a kind of curve line that curves up. Kind of over where the thumb is. And you just curve out into a spike like this. And then kind of curve around for where the oval is here. And you get a nice little curve line right here for the fingerless glove. And now here we could draw the end of the glove. And I'll wrap around like this. So we got kind of like our hand shape right here. And now all we need to do is draw on the rest of the fingers. So we're going to get one, two, three, and four. Kind of follow this little arc that we have here. And basically all you do for the fingers is just draw kind of like this um, kind of oval. And then it goes into like a spike here. So you get one. And then you get two. And then you get three. And then you get one more for the pinky. And the pinky is the shortest one. So you get a shape like that. And then here we're going to get those uh, spikes again. For his glove. And now lastly, he's always holding like a flower. So to draw that in, uh, super simple. What I like to do is just draw kind of like a straight line that goes up here like that. And then I like going to a point. So we're going to make a point go up. And then just draw another thin line that goes all the way up like this. That's like the stem. 
And now we're going to get like a little circle and then a bigger circle above that one. And now to kind of, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, to kind of draw in flowers, or at least this one, um, I like there being like a center point. So that point will be right here. And basically all you're going to do is kind of draw like curve lines that wrap around it. So this one's kind of going around the center point. I mean, kind of close it in like that. This one will start about here, kind of wrap around, go around that center point again, kind of curve in, wrap around like this. And now here we're going to have a line going out, curve out, over and in. Now we'll have another one that starts about here, kind of goes out, and around. Kind of same thing on this side, kind of give it a little bit of a dip in there. Out. Start about here, kind of curve in and over. This one will go underneath that one. So you get kind of like a flower shape like this. And then once you get that down, you can kind of draw in this little um, kind of half circle that connects into the stem here. Like that. And it has like two little petals that go off the edge there. And there you have it. That's how you draw um, Zor from the Deadly Six from Sonic Lost World. Um, not hard. Again, I don't think any of the Deadly Six are hard to draw. I'm going to erase this. Kind of annoying me. Kind of overlap right there. Um, yeah, no, none of the Deadly Six are that hard to draw. Um, they're very, like, basic shapies. Um, like, basic shapes. Really easy to, like, kind of animate. Uh, for things like that. But, um, anyway, I will put the sketch that we just did right up there. Along with the inked version I drew beforehand. And, um, there you have it. So, um, yeah, again, not, not a hard character to draw. I think he's one of the easier ones. Um, especially from the Deadly Six. He's not that bad. But, uh, thank you again, uh, the Nigel World, uh, for the request. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have requests, feel free to leave what you want me to draw in the comment section below. Uh, the way they work is I just randomly pick one off the list, uh, on Sunday when I do my drawing video. And so there's no, like, time frame or anything. It's just what I feel like drawing that day. Um, but I, but if you do have a request, I will put it on my list, and I will get to it um, sometime, sometime in the future. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye. Later.